All right, what is up? Hello, hello. This is a new experiment. I've got a different camera. I've got some different microphone stuff going on. So hopefully this will go good. It's just most more, more of an experiment than anything tonight. But we shall get this show on the road. How are you all doing? Get my chat window up here so I can see y'all. Thunderstruck coach in the house. Hello, hello. Sorry if it sounds like I'm uh, banging on the keyboard. I'm using my laptop microphone, so every little touch is resonating through. Hey, guys. Man, tons of people. This is awesome. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> What's up? The bike is not clean. It's 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 very dirty right now, actually. All right, here we go. Saturday live stream bonus. I'm, I've also got like my laptop over here. I'm trying to see how it's all going together. And yeah, I think this is good. Cool. I'm glad the camera's good and the sound is clear. That's awesome. At UCLA versus Standard, not Stanford. Nice. How do I spell BKXC? So uh, I'm getting the ready, the bike ready for the Rock Hopper Enduro tomorrow, and uh, it's an enduro race in Rockville, Fair Fairfield, California, one of my local trails, one of my local tracks. And uh, so, um, I, number one thing is my tires. They're quite uh, janky right now. And I gotta ban someone real quick. <laughs> the bike is not clean. Oh yeah, I have new bar ends too. You guys can read that like perfectly probably. <laughs> cool. 12, 17 p.m., where, where are you at? I'm, I'm interested. I know, I was, I was riding on the moon. It was uh, Mount Huff and Mills Peak. And it was dusty on Mount Huff, but that uh, friggin' ride was awesome. I've heard about that ride so much, and I finally got to do it, so I was uh, stoked. So let's get it. Just a quick, quick little wash down here with Brian's generic ass uh, cleaner. <laughs> Is it too bright? <laughs> oh! Take it down a notch. All right. What are you guys up to? Flo Rida, 518 Sunday. Guys over in New Zealand or Australia. Lethbridge, Alberta. It has started. Re refresh your uh, page. Port Moody, I've heard of that place. I've never been. Get a DJ? Yeah, I should get a dirt jumper. That's, uh, uh, it's just another bike though. It's just another $300, $400 or something. Maybe if I found a good used one. Yeah, I've been through a lot on this bike for sure. <laughs> you, you, you know it. So I'm using my laptop instead of my phone to stream. So I'm hoping that uh, comes through a little bit better. Oh, sweet, Alec, you're, you're racing too. I'll see you there tomorrow. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm racing in the pro category, which is kind of a joke, but I feel like uh, since this is my job, I have to be a pro. Oh, sweet. Ryan's with the high from Connecticut, seeing Moab for Chasing Epic. Hell yeah, that's awesome, Ryan. I love hearing that. Did, uh, did a weird thing pop up on the screen when I, that $10 super chat came through? I'm curious. I've got, uh, I'm goofing around with some uh, like live streaming silliness. What's up, Cameron? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> BKXC and cops on the stream. Yeah.
stream is delayed. I know it. I know it. It's, it's always a little bit delayed. But as long as the audio is coming through, I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay, so there was supposed to be like a sound come up and uh, something to come on the screen too. <laughs> Thanks, Cash, for the, the $20 Canadian dollary do super chat. I appreciate that. Refried beans, baby. Always good to have cash in the streams. The man is active. <laughs> the, the chicken noise is, uh, that should be from live stream. I'm, I've got like live stream <laughs> stuff uh, hooked in, so it'll be good. Cameron just uh, signed up for your first race. Nice. It's not a Zoidberg sound. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a Homer Simpson sound. Oh, you know what? I got to make sure I messed up. I didn't put the alert box on top. Okay. So now when stuff happens, we'll see the, uh, we'll see it come through. It's yeah, it's, uh, it's this goofy super chat thing I've been uh, playing with. Oh, KMC McBride 1970 with the $5 super chat. Thank you for the good luck. And I will keep you, I will make you a mod. That is a damn good idea. Gotta keep up with the trolls. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thank you. I, I usually only make people mods that I've actually interacted with in email, so I actually kind of have an idea who you are, and what's 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 the haps, and uh, I've definitely interacted with old KMC. <laughs> My bike's so clean. No, no new bike. The race is called the Rock Hopper. A lot the the race. Uh, I think the race was before the actual super ch uh, specialized. Rock Hopper came out. I think it was called the, uh, like the Rock Hopper race, cross country race in Vacaville. I think maybe it's somewhere else too. Someone can, uh, someone can definitely uh, clear that up. Sweet. Did someone see the McNuggets? <laughs> that's that's what it's all about. <laughs> the five dollar super chats trigger the old nuggets. Yeah, you should have. You should have cash. Here, I'll uh, I'll trigger one for you right now. I'll do a little test one. It's gonna be fake. It's not real. So uh, I'll do a, a fake test one right now, and then I'll do uh, I'll do I'll do the one that you should have got, Cash. Uh, uh, uh. This is the one that you should have got. Let me make sure I'm over here. I'm innovating. I'm innovating in the the super chat game. All right. Let me see. So yours would probably be this one, Cash. Yeah, that, that's the one. Uh, and those are fake. Those are just tests right there. But there are other ones. So you guys are going to have to uh, find them. Find them through. People aren't buying mod. Those are people that I've uh, interacted with and I know and can trust. So don't, don't you worry about it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Thanks for good luck on the race, man. I, I, uh, my buddy Ian, Ian Massey, who I did that, uh, that, uh, whatchamacallit thing, the, uh, I Need Professional Help, the video where he showed me the manual and that stuff. He is the one who's kind of, he's not putting on the race, but it's definitely his, uh, his brainchild and, and part, part of his, uh, it's, it's his race. It's not his race. I, whatever. But uh, he emailed me, and he's like, oh, you're racing pro? And I was like, yep, somebody has to finish last. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Thank you for that $2 uh, super chat cash. I appreciate it. I'm, I may get over and make you mod in a second. We'll get there. Ice cream trucker. Everybody's everybody's begging to be a mod. So I, uh, I was suspicious because... I probably shouldn't even say this, but if I make you a mod here, you can also remove comments from my videos. So I've made enough people mods where I didn't really know, like, they could be deleting uh, comments from my videos, so after every live stream, I take off all the moderators. So it's just, uh, I can't, can't have people I don't really know. <laughs> like, you know, you might be thinking you're doing the right thing by deleting a comment that you think is weird on my, you know, my page, and 
So uh, unless I know who you are, it's, it's not going to happen. And even then, it's going to be temporary. Yeah, I don't think I'll come in last either. I think uh, I, fitness is such the key. Fitness is such the key. But I, uh, Rockville is like my, my home trail, man. Like I think I have a chance to like at least place decent on a stage. So it's, that's my hope is to, to come through with something pretty decent. All right. So I've got two new tires that I want to put on. I've got some BK, new BKXC end caps that I want to uh, put on. Oh. Doo -doo. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit nicer not to have to work, huh, Chad? Yeah, there's always a bike maintenance a live stream that will take uh, take so much time. Fitness and flats, not flat pedals. How dare you? How dare you say that, Savant? Flat pedals do not win medals. <laughs> Thanks, Bomb Rain. I appreciate that, man. Da 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 da. So now, hopefully, you guys can see the. I, I always wanted to do that because uh, if you ever watch Twitch. The live streamers on Twitch always have goofy things pop up, and uh, I didn't think YouTube had it, but they do. You just have to go searching. How long is the race? I don't know how long the race, but uh, how long? How long the race is? Uh, yeah, I still use my laptop. <laughs> the uh, Joe, the uh, the hardcore PC is out in the front room. <laughs> I started streaming 11 hours ago. <laughs> it's true. Oh, man, it's starting to get hot in here. Great. Okay, so I've got a DHR2 and a DHF. So I've got new, got new uh, tires. Where are my mods at? There's some, there's, some, there's some garbage going on here. Let me make sure. Let me get, let me get my mods going. Oh, shit. I just hit block on cash. That was not right. <laughs> fumbling through. I am fumbling. <laughs> cool. I'm glad the laptop is uh, is working. I'm, I'm glad it's looking good. And uh, the uh, friggin' yeah, the phone, the phone was terrible. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will film the race. <laughs> I blew the ring off. That's what happens when you're hardcore, man. All right, looking for some clippers so I can uh, clip these tires out. Oh, look, I already have. It's not like I have a million tires sitting around, but I do have a couple extras. Yeah, I've seen that uh, skateboard grip tape on the levers. Uh -uh. All right, so what do we got here? We got the, uh, okay, so this DHR. I'll save this other DHR for later. Well, so in enduro race, Savant, it'll be easy because it's all stages. So it's just, you know, you pedal to a transfer, you start the stage, it's all out. You know, every stage is probably less than five minutes. So batteries will not be a problem. And I'm also going to go packless. I'm going to go without a pack during the race and uh, see how that goes. So it's going to be an adventure. Got a new bike. Nice. All right. Actually, a little more focused on the old... Uh, <laughs> on the maintenance because I get I get so distracted my batteries tend to last 45 minutes or so All right let's make sure we're framed up here I have not ridden with my brother lately this this rear Rear wheel has a little bit of a leak in it. It's kind of a 
kind of annoying me. I retaped it with my buddy Dustin, which is good, but it may be the tire though. So put sealant in. We used Gorilla Tape, and he had a really good, uh, really good process too to uh, to make it make it very very nice. Yeah, the Ibis was really sweet. I love my bike though, man. Like this. I love the Bronson. It's been really good. I love. I really enjoyed the uh, the Ibis. Like I say, it's it's more about the trails than anything. Oh, pure strength. Yeah, the race kind of uh, snuck up on me too, Spencer. But I'm glad because. Uh, uh, because I'm leaving for Spain on Tuesday. So the goal is to uh, not crash and not hurt myself <laughs> before Tuesday. Steve Y, what's up? Yeah, the Rock Hopper is tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And you can show up and uh, and go in to, uh, like, they'll, uh, they do day of registration. It's just uh, a little expensive. This is not the right tool. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Billy Mays here. Uh, I have ridden a Yeti SB6 a couple times. I'm doing the same. Well, I'm going to do a, a variation on the trip I did last time. Lap time. I'm gonna do the uh, Basque Coast, a little bit of the Basque Coast trip with uh, Basque MTB, and then do the uh, Backcountry Pyrenees once again. And, and Doug, the owner of Basque MTB, says that he's updated the trip, so I'm super looking forward to seeing what he's got to offer because that really was the best all around trip, I'd say, with the food and the people and the riding. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's uh, just as good. Oh, sweet. You're racing. Bean at it. The bandit will be there at the Rock Opera tomorrow. Just uh, changing tires right now. I'm checking on anything else on my bike that might be uh, goofy. Riding blind shirts. They might be on sale again at some point. Pain and Pleasure shirts are going to be on sale pretty soon again. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to... Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Savant, for that 10 bucks, making all YouTubers self-conscious about their logos. <laughs> I just had to say it. I felt like uh, it's something I saw so much with everyone kind of just blending in and looking the same and that, uh, you know... Gotta stand out a little bit. Oh, it's killing me with this. Some kind of warning just popped up. That's interesting. I'm still using the uh, same bike travel bag, the Evoc Pro. Yeah, I saw uh, Nate Hill's post about my video. He he uh, he messaged me too. Uh, uh, it was positive. It wasn't uh, negative. Here we go. I got it. Oh. Dang! I might have to do the uh, retape the rim again. Thank you, Craig, for that guiding people into the right. Uh, yeah, thanks, Kevin. Working hard. The mods are working hard. They're always working hard. Woo! Got that orange seal. My buddy Dustin retaped my rim for me because it was leaking out of one of the nipples. He uses orange seal, and uh, his process was really awesome. <laughs> the gorilla hands are at work. <laughs> thanks, Coach. Not getting hurt is the goal. But yeah, he had a whole process with retaping my rim. It was really awesome to see how. Uh, Someone who's been doing this for a long time does it and how they do it right. Ah. <laughs> oh. ah. 
I'm, not, I'm using these muscles. It's a struggle. This is real life. <laughs> this is not fake YouTube. <laughs> ah, hate le leaky nipples, don't you, Jason? They're the worst. Oh man, brutal. Whew. Need a break. The the priorities have changed, Josh, for the uh, cross country race. I hope, hopefully, if I get back from Spain. Uh, there is time. There is time to hit the trainer. There's time to get on us trainer road, but I just, my routine is just so stuck into just edit, edit, edit all day, get totally burned out, <laughs> like, and then go to sleep. So it's very much, uh, oh, it's tough. But yeah, I hope, you know, fitness is a huge thing. Like I, I like going, I've been able to make time to go to the gym, but, uh, I've got to make time to get back on the trainer and uh, and go for it because, man, you ride with a bunch. I ride with so many people where I'm like, oh, I'm good, I'm doing good, and then I rode with Jonathan Lee and my buddy Dustin, and they friggin' wore my ass out so bad. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Spain again, yeah. I, I want to go to Spain friggin' every year until I die. I'd say it's just that good. Uh, got the side sip going. You know it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Cross country races don't pay the bills. Very true. But general overall fitness is good. Yeah, I've got my Pedro's tire lovers here somewhere. I'm going to need to use them now. But, uh,. <laughs> Just wanted to get my fingers really nice and destroyed. Yeah, Jonathan Lee is a really cool guy. I really, uh, when we were riding together, I was like, man, I miss hanging out with this guy. He's just really cool. He is a busy mofo, too. He's, uh, he's all over the place. Orange seal endurance. Oh, interesting. There's probably a bunch of different types of orange seal, huh? Oh, that's interesting, Cash, that uh, Stan's actually is cheaper in Canada. That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad to see a lot of people hanging out tonight. It's I know it's late on the East Coast, but probably just about right on the West Coast. Always more mountain bikers, I think, out West. The Nuggetorium's coming along, Lou. I just, there's just a couple little things that I need to do. Uh, I need to get Cat 5 cable, Cat 6, whatever, into the Nuggetorium. I need to sand down a few things, and uh, it's, it's very close, very close. Once I get back from Spain and Moab, <laughs> I think November is basically, my October is basically uh, gone. Oh, I'm not, I'm not close to the camera. I need to get the, so I'm just trying to pop the tire off at the moment. I've got I've got some more gloves also, Jim, but holy moly, this is like actually tough to get on. Uh, I love everything about my grips. What's up, Wend? Good to see you. When am I getting a new bike? What is the need for a new bike? All these guys get new bikes every year. I guess I shouldn't talk if I somehow end up getting a new bike, but uh Everybody just wants to spend a shitload of money, I guess, huh? There we go. That took long enough. I wish there was a better way. This is going to drop immediately. Going to Spain on Tuesday. Flying Sacramento to Dallas to Madrid to, oops, I squeezed the brake lever, to San Sebastian. I just said how old I was in my last video, but maybe you didn't watch it for all 35 minutes. 
Man, there's like no, there's barely any orange seal left in here. Can we put three ounces in? Where did it all go? There's like nothing in there. Goopy sound. Malaga. Yeah, I would like to go to Malaga. No, I did not ride today. I have not ridden in a long time. It's all been editing. Go. All right. Good enough. That was like nothing in there. That's, woo, here we go. Getting it everywhere. <laughs> Into the garbage. The orange seal goes. So, I'm going to check the old rim strip here. Very dubious. Uh, uh. Getting pretty dang close to 100,000. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So I'm taking the actual uh, tire off. Funkatron. <laughs> KMC, you're right about that. Oh, sweet. You won your category in the Rock Hopper F XC, dude? That's awesome. Congrats. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. That is a hectic day. Dude, when you say, when you say hi tomorrow, say that you're a bandit so I actually know who you are. Or be nat it, whatever the hell, however the hell you uh, uh, pronounce it. coming it's coming there we go razor's edge video is coming it's coming monday morning <laughs> alex getting his bike ready for the enduro tomorrow too i'm going without a bag tomorrow so hopefully that will give me all the advantage i need See you later, Jim, or JJ, I should say. No, I've never ridden a single speed. Really no interest, but, uh, well, I guess back in the day when my, my, my kid's bike was, uh, when I was a kid, it was a single speed. <laughs> Let's check this tape here. Steve Y, good night. <laughs> Remodeling the bathroom. Good luck with that. Pain in the ass. <laughs> Ooh, I've also got alcohol. Not the drinking kind, the uh, sterilizing kind. Always good. Yeah, I have done the single speed when the derail when I snapped a derailleur cable one time in the Crockett Hills. So I guess that counts. Yeah, Bobby, is this your first time ever watching a live stream of me working on my bike? I always have a hell of a time. This Gorilla Tape looks good. There's got to be some kind of penetration, though, because it's just, uh, yeah, that's kind of no good right there. Got kind of squished in. Oh, must, uh, I guess I gotta freaking do the whole thing over. <laughs> I'm cleaning it down because I might have to retape it, so. Not looking forward to that, but we can do it. 
<sighs> I got all night. Who needs to go to bed? I have not noticed any difference between the GX and the X01, and that's why I really like the GX stuff. I really want to make a video about how uh, I love the GX, and that it's it's pretty much a lifesaver, I'd say, because, well, I need to. I need to get, uh, like, backups of everything. I kind of have backups because I have my X01 stuff still, but my X01 derailleur's beat to shit, too. It still works, but, uh, yeah, being able to have a backup cassette on hand instead of spending $400 for one, like, GX is Kate. What's up, Jaker? <laughs> Bobby, that's cool. Yeah, I hope that's fun, John. DuPont and Pisgah are quite amazing places. Yeah, okay. Let's replace the tape. Fuck it. Good morning, Rob Souza in merry old England. Whoa. I got rid of the DBO suspension months ago, David, and I just wanted to keep trying out different stuff. That is the, the secret behind me changing the DBO. <laughs> Go to Colombia, chew on a cocoa leaf. Good old coca. Colombia scares me, man. Or in uh, Chile, like all these in uh, yeah, these places, like all their cities are at twelve thousand feet or something. It's like yikes. They mean business. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, I have, uh, I just happened to have the Huck Norris out of my wheel because I had a tube in there, but then I put, uh, I had a tube in there because I wasn't able to really tape it up very well. <laughs> I ride a large Bronson. Jesus, this is crazy. Thanks, Craig. And I don't think that was uh, correct there. I'm unblocking Phoenix Matt. See, this is why I'm uh, <laughs> I'm easy on the band hammer. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. It's coming. Jesus. This is uh, definitely no air escaping through the nipple, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, New Zealand would be awesome. I would like to go there. That's definitely a possibility. Uh, Rotorua would be the destination in uh, New Zealand. You gotta write it for yourself, Lou. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. Yeah, it's Gorilla. <laughs> it's Gorilla Tape. And we're gonna be here all night. Here we go. Nelson. I've ridden Nelson, but it was just one place. Uh, just one, I think it was only one trail. I've heard good things about Rotorua though. Good morning from Germany. Nice. I'm glad to see you guys up, up and about on a fine Sunday morning. It's 
going good, Dan. <laughs> okay, so we are one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. The guns are showing, brother. This is ridiculous how uh, stuck in here this is. Gonna have to get the old tools out here. Yeah, it is Gorilla Tape. <laughs> I've got alcohol though, so that's gonna clean it up. So the alcohol will clean it up perfectly. No problem at all. I'm not getting in over my head in a live stream. How would that ever happen? I would I would never I would never just attempt to do a, a very simple thing on a live stream and then get the whole thing out of hand. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god darn it. <laughs> One of these days you guys are gonna see blood spurting from me from my bad mechanicing. I think it's isopropyl alcohol. It's a uh, just a uh, all-purpose spray bottle. Just changing tires right now, but uh, who knows what? Who knows what the night will bring us? This is crazy. This has never been in here. This this crazy. Yeah, the chain slap. I think electrical tape would work just fine. Oh, no. Time to go to work. Nice, Rob. Sunday morning in the UK. Yeah, good, good, good call with the old tube. I'm trying to put... What the hell? How did this get in here so tight? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, get a tattoo in Spain. In Spain, nice. Here we go. It's coming. I feel it. Son of a gun. I've got plenty more stems laying around. It's Sunday evening, so you must be down in Oz or NZ. All right, Connor, here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna bend this piece of crap. Ah. <laughs> I know, Dan, it's gonna, gonna end up friggin' shredding my rim. Ah. Ah, old tires, Jim, just old tires. They're time, time for a change, for sure. Oh, thank you. Mountain Bike Geek has a, a few extra Garmin watches, so <laughs> he's going to send me one. That's awesome. Appreciate it very much, John. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I should. Uh, I'll take the valve cord Because this thing's easily bent. I don't have a blowtorch. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Did the sound effect come up for uh, Mountain Bike Geek's uh, thing? Still a beta test of that uh, that menagerie. Oh man, it's gonna get late. I can already feel it. Ah, they're the same tires I have always I've had for a while. They're just uh, they're just new. Maxis Minion WTs.
Okay, cool. It came up. <laughs> Sweet. It's always a slight delay with the live streams. Uh, when you don't do it through the phone. When you do it through the phone, it, it's like immediate. But uh, when you do it through the other software, a little bit of a delay. Son of a gun. This is unreal. I'm destroying this thing. It's going to break off. Holy crap, what is going on? <laughs> John's about to dive into an apple pie Lara bar. <laughs> Fantastic. It is 9.56 p.m. where I'm at right now. Got to be up at least at 6 a.m. tomorrow because the uh, race starts at 9, but uh, yeah, the brake rotor's going to get jacked up, no doubt. Ah, goofy. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Good on you, Eric. <laughs> Got to have a little bit of the Mickey D's. Nice, Jaker. 20th is not bad at all. Out of 95 people, it's legit. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you for that. Couch to crash on in Sedona, Prescott. I've got to get out there. I think uh, I'll probably, the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival is on my calendar, so hopefully that will, uh, that will come. Yeah, you're right about twisting it from the bottom. I'll just keep twisting it with a little bit of protection on it. Because obviously it's just a... Uh, Kind of set in there. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. She broke free. Man, that was a good seal, which is, uh, I, I'm kind of sad to break that seal if it was that good, if it was holding it on that hard. <laughs> okay, so now I've quite destroyed this thing, but really it doesn't matter because the threads are almost irrelevant aren't they the nuggetorium's coming along very very good uh i'm gonna be out on the friggin road for a month or so now so i won't be able to get back to it but i have a couple little finishing touches i need to do and then that will be my live streaming headquarters and it's gonna be friggin awesome i'll have the setup in there i'll have lights i'll have this camera and everything and uh it's gonna be badass i, I cannot wait to have kind of a little studio and i want to have even more goofy live stream things like like when people do uh, super chats, like the lights would change, but uh, it's it's tough figuring that out. I'm glad I was able to figure out kind of the goofy animated gifts and that kind of stuff, but uh, just always want to have more fun. It's always about just uh, hanging out, like do, doing this stuff, hanging out right now. It's just freaking awesome. But now I have the da 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 stuck in my head. All right, so that valve. Core. I'm gonna look and see if I have some other valves because I don't feel very good about that. All right. Got one here. Uh, cherry and lemon Lara bars. Man, I haven't branched out. I kind of, I'm kind of, kind of a simpleton when it comes from, uh, when it comes to my food. I kind of stick to stuff, as you guys have seen. <laughs> you better Google it, Sean. Okay. And the Nuggetorium. I'll have a nice workbench too. So that's awesome. <laughs> I can sing like Bobo, but I cannot play the guitar like Bobo. Bobo on his live streams are awesome. He does uh, super chat uh, songs. It's just so fun. I did, a, I did a super chat and he did a tribute to Chris Farley for me last night. It was so good. The Blue Wrench is moderators. People that I am trusting to do a good job in banning the idiots. But uh, it's, it's very much a, a dicey proposition. Thank you, Michael, for that $5. It is very much appreciated. 
I will. Yeah, I'd love to come to Cannes. Harry, that is, I actually have been to Cannes, but I wasn't uh, mountain biking at that time. That was like just before I got like fully obsessed with mountain biking. And I did uh, snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef and uh, whitewater rafting, which was pretty insane up there. It was awesome. <laughs> What's up, Jessica? Reno race at Sky Tavern. Oh, 29 degrees. <laughs> awesome. Good luck. I rode with Jessica in Joaquin Miller Park, and that was super fun. We got to go ride again. I would love to uh, go take on Joaquin Miller Park again, Jessica. Hit me up. I just got back from BC, Michael. It's going to start getting... Uh, quite chilly out there. Bendigo, Victoria. Interesting. That must be Australia. I agree, Austin. MTB is the funnest sport. There it is. There's no doubt about it. If you guys seen Mountain Bike Geek, his Instagram, he's got a really funny picture um, of a, a magpie attacking him. It's like in spring in Australia, the magpies, like, they do not like bike helmets. They, they are like genetically programmed to attack people uh, on bikes with helmets on. So they just freaking swoop down and attack, and it's just the goofiest thing. And I'm sure it's actually scary as hell. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Cool, Jessica. Yeah, hit me up. Da, 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 da. <laughs> My favorite Lara bar is the uh, the cookie, the uh, whatever one I always use. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> Cyclocross. Cyclocross is cool, man. I would do. I would do all this stuff if I had all the money to have a thousand friggin' bikes. No judgment about cyclocross. It's fun. If you're having fun doing it, no judgment. Don't care about what the haters. Oop. I've got, uh, I've only got one plans for the winter months right now, and that is Africa. That's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to share that with you guys. It's going to be pretty neat. Oh, the snakes. Yeah, when I was in Australia, everybody was talking up the snakes so much. And then, uh, <laughs> no, didn't see a single snake. Oh, I can only imagine the friggin', uh, the friggin', uh, magpies tearing a hole in your ear. That's serious. Good night, bandit. Dude, Evan, Trail Descendant. Ooh, I like that name, dude. Riding in Prescott since college started. Awesome. Super cool, dude. I forgot that you were actually going down. When you said Prescott College, I, I kind of, I don't know what I thought, but that's awesome. That's going to be a great spot. So uh, keep in touch, Evan, because I will be going down there, you know, probably around the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. So it'd be awesome to ride with you again. Thanks for that $5 super chat. It is super appreciated. Thank you, Dan. The Riding Blind Show. Yeah, man, Africa. Sorry the chat is so delayed. I can tell it's like super delayed. That kind of bums me out. So we're all kind of uh, leapfrogging each other. I'm gonna double check something real quick here. I probably can't change any of my settings right now because I'm already uh, I'm already in too deep, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, I can't change anything right now. That's all right. We will have a little bit delayed. Awesome, Christopher. I'm glad you dig the bike, dude. Like, really, like, it's all about getting the bike and getting on it and just having fun and uh, and not getting too caught up on <laughs> all the details. I, I get so many people asking me about... Uh, 
like suggestions for bikes, I don't mind saying like, hey, I really love the SP6, I, I really love the Bronson, I really like the Mojo HD4. But then people get really, like they go deep. They really, really want like, you know, extra reassurance. And it's just like, you gotta just test it out. You gotta do it for yourself. Cause uh, it's just such a big purchase. It's so easy to get so uh, bent out of shape and overthink it all. Hopefully this will focus, but you can see the uh, carbon, the carbon itself. Pretty interesting, I'd say. Ooh, maybe a little damage there. <laughs> <laughs> These things I've had for almost exactly a year now, and they have done me well. I'm so glad. I think I would have probably gone through a few sets of aluminum rims by now, and uh, that's not what I wanted. I, I don't. I need stuff that can take a friggin' beating, and the Knight Composite wheels have taken a nice beating. I'm super glad about that. Nice, Juan. That's awesome. Getting the, getting the wife into the old MTB. Dig it. Haha, <laughs> Alec is digging on his uh, Kona Process 153. Show it to me tomorrow. Dang, I'm super delayed in the chat. Ah, oh, sorry guys. It is what it is. Hell yeah, Rob. That is awesome. Thank you for the $5 super chat and let me know that you got off your ass. First bike in 30 years. It, if you get into it, if you get serious about it, it's gonna change your life. Your your fitness is gonna go, it's gonna, yeah, you're gonna friggin', you're gonna love it, dude. It's gonna be fantastic. These uh, rims have a 35 millimeter internal width, so they are they are quite wide. Hold that thought. I guess my garage isn't level. All right, gotta go get the gorilla tape. So Canyon Spectral, nice trail go. I, I, uh, I want to get on one of those bikes. They, Canyon uh, has no desire to let BKXC ride one of the, the Canyon bikes. They give a shit less about me. I try. I reached out to them a bunch of different ways. So uh, could not could not get them to uh, to get on board. All right. So this is the hole right here. So I'm gonna go opposite the hole. Let's see, let me get the camera pointed down a little more. Oh yeah. Don't let me forget about the uh, camera being down. <laughs> I'll move it down here a little. Oh, bear with me, brother. Cool. Yeah, I'd love Envy to send me a new set of uh, wheels to test out. They don't. They don't have any problem selling wheels. They don't. Um, that's like Canyon. They don't have any problem selling bikes. So uh, there's no. Uh... Oh, sweet Ryan, you got a ride on the Canyon uh, Spectral. Awesome. That must have been during the uh, California Enduro Series then. I think they're having a little demo day going. All right, here we go. Dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, BKXC mechanic. On the clock, just ready to screw this up. Like you know I will. The rims are holding up great, man. I think the I-9s are, are probably an awesome thing to do, though. American-made, they're loud as hell. There is an option for the quieter version. Who was I riding with recently? I was riding with uh, Eric up in, that's Monday's video up in Calgary and his, his wheels were very loud. They were super loud. It was kind of funny. Full concentration here. I want to check the chat. Can't do it. I'm surprised how warm it is in the garage. Well, I've got the lights going, but 
Ah, sorry you got a concussion, John. That sucks. It's one of my biggest fears, getting injured on the bike. But if I do get injured, I'll just be in the nuggetorium all day, every day, becoming a better mechanic. Come on, there we go. Keep her between the ditches, good buddy. Man, it looks so nice while it's going on like this. I'm not even all the way around, Adam. Yeah, no need for a trail bell. That's very true with the i9 wheels. That is actually an awesome thing. Just passively uh, alerting people instead of kind of get, getting people angry. This is a, a lot more intense than, than it may seem. Jesus, barely. Where's the. Okay, there it is. Nice bright light on my face. <laughs> yeah, this is a Logitech camera. It's kind of funky. It's uh... <sighs> Thank you, Samuel Z. I appreciate it. Get too far to the right. Gotta come back. Oh, I don't trust my mechanicing skills. It's all right. I'll get better. Practice makes permanent. Okay, a little bit more to the left. My buddy Dustin was talking about uh, taking a wide, a wider roll and scoring it, like getting your exact width of your uh, your rim and scoring the wide roll, so then you have like a rim strip that's perfectly wide. I wanted to do that, but I didn't think I was going to be retaping my rim tonight, but. It is what it is. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit of overlap here. Yeah. Whew, Jesus. Ugh, that's kind of funky. Yeah, I need 50 plus sunscreen for these lights. Jesus, huh? Just can't it can't seem to uh, get in the groove, huh? Like, oh, oh, am I good? Huh? Huh? There we go. Roll it through. So now I'm just kind of moving through here. Greetings from Serbia. That's awesome, Freddie. Good to hear from you. I uh. I love hearing about those kind of uh, off the beaten path riding. I've heard there's there's some stuff out there. Oh, I haven't done Joey Trek in so long, Aunt, Anna Cat. You're right. Get these rims all taped up, fucking delightfully. Like Joey Trek would. Okay, I'm I'm semi satisfied with this. Uh, my buddy Dustin said that one thing that he, him and his friends do is you fill up an inner tube, and uh, like you put the tire on, you seat the tire, and you put a, a tube inside of this, like fill the tube up to like 40 psi, and let that sit for like another 20 minutes or so, or maybe even an hour, and then you you know that that. The tape is really in there. <laughs> yeah, the struggle is real, Sawyer. Good luck, Jack. Have fun MTBing. No plans to get down to the uh, San Diego area soon, Jellyfish, but uh, November is probably when it's going to happen. Noble Canyon. My, my buddy Chris that uh, is in the comments has bugged me about Noble Canyon for a long time, so uh, we're going to make it happen. Interesting, Rich. Uh, it's like uh, there's so many different little bits and pieces to uh, be aware of, but I've got, I've got some uh, 
slime tubeless, so it's a little bit different, but uh, it probably still, Gorilla Tape still probably messes it up. <laughs> it's, there's no, oh, I, I did not, I, good good call, Jessica. I actually did forget the, uh, the hole for the valve stem. This is a, that's what the amazing thing about having crowdsourced mechanic work is. I have all you guys to have my back and, uh, and not totally talk total trash. What's up, MTB drop-in in the house, Tony? Got the side sip going. Yeah, you're, uh, you're right about that, Randy. Actually, I've been getting up in the mornings recently and, uh, hasn't been very clear. So let's, uh, let's make sure we, we hammer this thing. Leo tap baby <clears throat> okay so oh, I just had the hole okay here's the hole some kind of cutting device to poke the hole Got a screwdriver oh and my buddy Dustin see like he had all these little tips and tricks that were awesome but uh like he actually like filed down inside of the uh, the hole for the the the, uh, the uh, stem the stem the valve stem went and everything it was just really really awesome to watch a uh, an expert at work. Okay, so that's looking good. You guys know I'm gonna miss some friggin' step here. A hot nail, interesting. I like that idea, Shay, because uh. It probably kind of seals it and makes it kind of a hot mess. <laughs> Ice pick. There we go. Feeling good. I'm all about the sound effects, you guys. There's one, there's one thing you know. I'm all about the sound effects. Yeah, I got to try the Kush Core sometime, Aniket, but... Uh, <laughs> I've heard nothing, but it's like such a ridiculous pain in the ass to put on. It's kind of funny. Connor, you're going to be at the race tomorrow. Awesome. Say hi. Make sure you say hi, dude. And make sure you say you're Connor because you, you've talked to me enough times. I, I know who you are. Yeah, if you don't get an answer to your question the first time, that's it, man. It's it's gone down. The it's a river. The river of comments has swallowed it up. And uh... oh wow, John, that sounds like a legit race. Five kilometer run, twenty kilometer XC ride, and a five kilometer run. Friggin' running, running's for the birds. Thanks, Adrian. I appreciate those positive vibes. Oh, Sim checking in from Malaysia. That's so cool, dude. Okay, let, let's let's make sure we're rotating the right way. That's uh, that's always nope. Got it on the wrong way. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> my cush core's been in the closet for months. Dude, that's what happens. Like, my shock whiz. Like, it's just... Uh, these toys. Okay, I will I will line up the Maxis logo with the stem. I'll do it right. Dan, I won't... I probably won't be able to... Yeah, I'm not going to post my edit before I go to Spain, but... I'll have it, hopefully. We will see how it all shakes down. I heard you the first time. I'll get there. Just let me let me get it let me get it going here. Okay, heat up a Phillips screwdriver. I don't have like a torch or anything like that. I should get like a little little torch like Seth has. Hopefully I'll be uh, 
writing in Orbea when I'm in Spain. That's that's the plan. What casing do I have on this bad boy? EXO 3C. Focus. Focus. Razor's Edge is coming Monday. Unless you're on Patreon and you've already watched it. There's all kinds of shit on Patreon. My boys on Patreon do, don't wait. Well, they wait for me to edit the videos, and I still have a, a couple videos to edit, but uh, your $3 goes a long way for making this thing actually happen. I need a bike hack on how to friggin' put on a goddamn wheel. <laughs> how is this so silly? Oh, I get so distracted. This uh, work stand, it's, it's okay. I've had this for a long time. Actually, I think my brother bought it. It's, it's decent. It works good. All right, I'm going down. 2.5 is large enough for the front, man. Like, I can't get any bigger. I don't think the bike can take anything bigger than uh, 2.5, Matt. See you later, Alec. Say hi. I hope you say hi. At the race. Same tires I've had before. Java Mama Llama. The best way to fix it is to take it to the bike shop. Yeah, Christopher, I'm gonna I'm just gonna run a hard cable. I'm just gonna uh, run a run a cat five cable out to the Nuggetorium. It's gonna take a little bit of effort to make it happen. Yeah, the generic ass cleaner is gonna lube it up, make it easier to put it on and off. Our hardtail's good. I wouldn't know. Don't ride the hardtails. Here we go. <laughs> I will drive into my house. That's that's a common. Uh, it's definitely a common occurrence when uh, when you watch the old live stream and and Brian's having a hard time. Just want to jump in and make it easier on me. You guys didn't catch this guy the first time. My moderators are asleep at the wheel. I probably should spray a little, uh, a little bit of the old generic ass cleaner in here. I just mojo was great, Oscar. I think my joy <laughs> riding those those uh, that bike in Switzerland was quite apparent. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate that. How'd you do on your race? I like this floor pump a lot. It was friggin' expensive, but my hope is that it, I'll have it for like 20 years. So I'll keep hoping. But my last one was just kind of funky, man. Yeah! <laughs> Got to him before you, John. I'm on it. I see all. You guys don't think I see it all, but I see it all. Yes, Jessica, you're right. You're right, you're right. Here we go. Hear that snap? <laughs> I like that, Rob. That was funny. Generic ass cleaner. When you need your generic ass cleaner. We're almost there. We're almost there. I can feel it. At this point, it's so close, it should just fall in. But... Oh. Donate a torch for the Noka Tour. Oh, nice. I like that. Thank you, uh, Kevin. It's funny because uh, I think... 
Like in Australia, a torch is a flashlight, but for us, a torch is a like a blowtorch. Michael, I've done night riding before. It just doesn't come out on the GoPro very well. I think there would be a lot more Go, uh, POVs with night riding if it actually looked good. Man, this camera kind of sucks, huh? Soapy water? Okay. <sighs> Let's lubricate. Let's... <laughs> the guns are coming out now, brother. It's right there. It should... Oh, man, I'm fucking up the Gorilla Tape, too. Great. We're starting out. <laughs> You're right, Phoenix Matt. This is uh, one tire, one hour. Oh, give me a fucking break. We'll get there, Michael. We'll see. We'll see if the pump works eventually. <laughs> uh, proper technique. Let's see if there's a little room for a manipulation with the tire lever. There we go. Gorilla tape's not worth it. It's too late now, Rob. We're in too deep. Oh, I've got to line up the Max's logo. It's so important. My people will hate me. I kind of get a kick out of uh, you Spanish speakers that always say men instead of man. It's kind of funny. I dig it. I, I, I find it endearing. I like it. What's up, men? Don't change. Yeah, Andres, this should be my FTV workout day. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. I've got the Huck Norris. So I've got one thing at a time. <laughs> Got like that. Well, okay, that'll seat. That'll seat when it seats. I'm not gonna force that. Okay, let's uh, let's take stock here. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. No pressure. Just a just a just a couple people watching. Oh, god, the damage is done from tonight. <laughs> Raul. Roll, I think, uh, Raul or Roll, I think, I think it's worth learning how to work on your bike. It's not something that I've done forever. It's something I want to do. I really, really want to do. Uh, I really want to learn how to work on my bike and to really uh, own it. Because I've mentioned this before, I've just had a lot of crappy bike shop experiences. <laughs> I did not get the tire install KOM. You're freaking right about that. <laughs> but, uh, I just had such crappy bike shop experiences that like, and working on your bike is so much fun when you get it right. Like I, this is like, I'm, I'm bad at working on my bike, obviously, but like this is a, uh, this is way better now that I've done it a lot of times, right? I, the more you do, the better you get. And especially if you can make some friends in the mountain bike community that know what they're doing, that actually work on their bike and can give you some tips. Maybe they have some old crappy tools that they want to get rid of. So uh, it's, I think being able to own it and knowing what's going on is uh, so, so, so key. Oh, we're hydrated. We are fully hydrated. So on my last live stream, I took the Huck Norris out and I was showing you guys, but I want to show you again there was a lot of little dings in this thing where you could see where it uh, I got my money's worth, I think. It is a shame I live so far away from Worldwide Cycle Reef because I would be down there. I would definitely be down there like 
live streaming and learning, and I would be bugging them a shitload if I le if I lived down there. Ooh, that was a big one. I would just be the apprentice down there hanging out. Big old man, lots of uh. Oh Sawyer, that sucks if you have that same pump and it hasn't and it doesn't work. I would uh I would email them. That's that's something I'm always kind of like uh, I'm bad about that. I'm I'm kind of more in the camp of like, oh this thing sucks and like complaining about it instead of like emailing Topic and saying, hey, what's going on? My pump kind of stopped working. What can I do to fix it? Alright, so the Huck Norris is in now. Tons of pinches. Fully pinched. <laughs> Cash ordered the Kush core when he saw how thin the Huck Norris is. Hey, it's thick enough for me, bad boy. So, this is kind of, I'm at a crossroads as well where I could just pour in the sealant right now. Or I can inject it. Good night, Lee. Peace out, buddy. So I think... Let's like let's look here. So if I inject it, yeah, I'll inject it. Why not? I got the injector. Have I mentioned I really enjoy these live chats? <laughs> it's just always fun to have you guys goofing around in here. I'm gonna go through the sim, Jody. Hey, good to see you, dude. I didn't notice you were here, Jody. We're injecting, baby. I'm all about in, in, avoiding spilling. Kind of cool to be able to have the camera on the tripod and move it around like this and i've kind of got a window down here where i'm uh <laughs> turkey based it in <laughs> good stuff ryan i would consider going to australia in fact i was in australia earlier this year i australia is very cool I, I think that races in california are tampering down connor but keep an eye out the enduro world series is all kind of the thing Oh, I always make a mess with the, I'm not, I'm not good with my target. Welcome Trevor. I'm just uh, changing tires on the old bike, getting them ready for the enduro race tomorrow in Rockville, the rock hopper enduro. I will be filming the race. I don't reply to DMs on Instagram. You can email me though. I have no problem replying to emails. I don't, I don't do DMs because it's like all of a sudden I'm in a text messaging relationship. I don't, I don't need a, a text messaging relationship with a stranger. Hey, are you there? Uh, did you read my message? Are you there? Email seems to work so much better. There's not that expectation of like, hey, oh, hello? Oh yeah, that sounded like I just ripped the friggin' uh, the gorilla tape. I'm good at, good at biking. World's strongest man right here. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. Thank you for that comment on the uh, how I built my YouTube channel video. I think it's awesome that uh, you've been around since the very beginning. And when I've said this a lot, if you've got like a distinct avatar and, and a real name, like I can always remember you. So it's quite awesome. Oops, oops, I'm losing the bead. I'm losing the bead. Threadbow. Yeah, I've heard good things about Threadbow. Down in Oz. Thank you, Elliot. I'm glad you're uh, digging the, uh, the vids. <laughs> John, we are in a relationship. <laughs> you're not a stranger. You're not a stranger, buddy. Oh, we're getting this. We're getting this, damn it. I should 
yeah, I should get rock climbers to put this stuff in. My best friend's childhood name was Andrew Butler, so it's kind of funny to see uh, you commenting on my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Will. Um, it's been amazing. It's been a year. I was around 2,000 subs a year ago when I quit my job. It's freaking ridiculous. Uh, hey, Eric, I didn't really... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, let me, I, uh, I just wanted to test out different stuff. That's why I switched from the D DBO. Nate Hills, five bucks on me blowing that thing off the rim and spraying with ceiling with fans. Your fucking money is well spent on that. I am an elite mechanic, damn it. <laughs> ah, Ryan's in till the, the, uh, his phone dies. You guys know my mechanic skills. I'm gonna fill this Joe Blow up with 160 PSI and <laughs> ruin this tire. This is so much more entertaining for myself. As the uh, Huck Norris just gets destroyed inside here too. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little cold and trucky, huh? Friggin' snowing up there, which I think is gonna be uh, awesome because it's gonna warm up again. So I think the trails are gonna be friggin' sweet. There might be a little bit of fall magic up there. Oh, no, I can't do it because I feel like I'm just going to rip. If I use the tire lever, I feel like I'm going to rip the tape. So I'm just going to keep uh, just torturing you guys. It's only, it's only right. Yeah, the Patreon cuts are awesome, Matt. Like the Razor's Edge, whew, that is, that was freaking awesome. A lot of good Patreon stuff up and running right now. We got this. Yeah, rentals are expensive. It's kind of a thing. Me and Nate will ride together someday. It's gonna happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> Cash gonna mess up the tape. Proceeds to mess up the tape by hand. Yes, Paul, I am I am fucking shit up again. That's how I that's how I roll. Alright, let me uh ding 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 <laughs> It's between X's. I am not a pro, Nate. I cannot line it up with the second X. That is just not right. I think I will rip, rip the tape with the lever, but, uh... Oh. <laughs> I really wish I could do it for you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What else are you guys up to, huh? Who else is going out to the Rockville Enduro tomorrow? Oh. Saw some snowflakes up on Frome yesterday. Whew. I'm so close, Rodney. I'm so close. That was the A-Team theme song. I don't know how it popped into my head, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> John, that's close enough. I think I could just roll with this. <laughs> School holiday, nice. There we go. Whew. We're not quite, we're not quite there yet. We're in there. We are in there. Whew. Four new trails in Salida? Holy crap. That's awesome, Paul. I really, really want to get back to Salida. It's definitely uh, has a special place in my heart where me and Alexander rode first. 
and it was just uh <laughs> Salida was awesome. Craig, that's a great one. Rules of live television. Never work with animals, kids, or tubeless tires. <laughs> Only when you have the mechanic prowess of BKFC. <sighs> oh, it's gotta be... Oh. Nope. It's gonna be in between the A and the X. <sighs> Alright, so. On that note, I need more water. <laughs> I will be doing the front tire as well, eh? <laughs> Bikini, dude. So, got my stands injector here. The lights are quite bright. <laughs> GS, yes, I'm doing the other tire, brother. <laughs> you better believe it. I'll still be here. You don't have to keep watching. I'll be here all night, whether anyone is here or not. <laughs> We're still on the first, brother. The front is looking not bad, but uh, I think I'm going to take the Huff Norris out of the front because it's kind of like no, there's no point. I don't think, well, we'll see. Maybe if I pop open the front, we'll see if there's pinch flats or anything in there. Cash with another <laughs> Sly Five. B-K-E-N, beat Brian Kennedy eats nuggets. I like that. It only takes a nugget to eat one, so go out and B-K-E-N. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Cash. Thanks for hanging out, man. It's always fun. Always fun. Oh, sweet. And there's the, I see the thing popping up now. See, that's the delay of everything kind of funky, but it is what it is. What can you do? All right, so I got my little stands injector thing, and I'm actually going to put it on. No, I'm not going to put it on. Well, I'm going to test it out first before I just... Uh, it's not quite on the, uh, the valve, Brocky. <laughs> Goodbye, Hans. It was nice to know you. Ooh, brake caliper spacer. What's up, Mr. Clean? Good to see you. I've got one tire down. I'm still, uh, <laughs> still working on a little bit more, but... We're having an adventure here. It is a, it is a bona fide adventure of Brian's bad mechanic skills. That's that's all there is to it. So, what kind of mess can I make? I wonder. I'm gonna put this thing back on. So the bright lights are making it kind of hard, but this kind of has like a little thing. So I'm gonna put this back on. <laughs> Gotta love wrench time or torture time, as uh, uh, as we may call it. All right, so I got my slime tubeless slime pro tubeless sealant. I'm gonna go for two ounces, and huh? Should I cut this top off a little more? Get a little more flow. Just snip the tip. I don't know if I'm running any tokens in the fork. If it comes with tokens in the front, then I am. But uh, holy crap, the pike has been feeling awesome. Like it has been feeling so damn awesome. So uh, whatever's going on in the pike right now, it's uh, fantastico. Some goofy sounds. 60 milliliters. Will there be room for this the syringe or have I totally screwed myself? This dinky little slime, uh, it's like only eight ounces in here or something. It's like, yeah, what a waste. I thought I was buying a bigger thing, but uh... <laughs> I'm not putting the injector on. I'm doing it all wrong. Okay, we got a little bit of air. We're gonna push. Oh yeah, we're coming out. We're we're unsealing.
<laughs> Concentration here. Ah, Jesus. Should have put the gloves on. Should have put the gloves on. I might do something on what type of food I eat and all that stuff. I mean, it's not, I guess, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm conflicted. Yes, I should hire you to be my mechanic, Mr. Clean. <laughs> my first expense. Hire you to be my mechanic and I will learn under you. And then I will fire you the second I've learned all your secrets. All right, we're injecting. Let's go. Sealant in. <laughs> She's in without a hitch. Not a problem. Yep, you got to get better. It's it's so good to, to work on your own bike and learn. And obviously I'm doing it by uh, <laughs> by doing it in front of a bunch of people. is not, <laughs> not the best way, but it actually, I think it helps for me and not caring what people think. I think it's a huge uh, bonus for me to kind of get over any kind of anxiety about, oh, oh, oh what if people don't think I'm a good mechanic? Who gives a shit? <laughs> people are going to hate me no matter what. So you do what you do. The next thing I need to get over is filming myself in public. It's always a pain in the ass to talk in the camera. Oh, hey, how we going? All right, so. Good morning, Anders. God morning, even. I guess I can leave the stem out, but I will. Yes, I am filming the race tomorrow. I will be filming the race tomorrow. Sorry if I forgot to mention that. 101 nugget <laughs> recipes. <laughs> Jesus, that doesn't uh doesn't leave much for the old <laughs> fucking inflator to get on there, huh? Oh Christ. Am I gonna have to take this whole thing off? Cause I've Friggin' put on a stupid short stem. My my wheels are too deep for this. Ah! This is this is not compatible. God damn it! I'll always do videos with Alex and Seth. It's just a matter of them getting to me or me getting to them. I had a lot of stuff planned this summer, and uh, they had a lot of stuff going on too, so it didn't quite uh, overlap. <laughs> it is too short. It is too short. It is 11 o'clock at night. Oh, my God. We're going to be here a while. Ladies and gentlemen, or should I say lady and gentlemen, if Jessica's still around? Brutal. Brutal! Silly. Silly. <laughs> you gotta have more length if you're gonna go that deep. You are correct. You are correct. This is how you, uh, you make your mistakes. You make your mistakes and you learn from them. Now we know. You got big ass deep rims, you need a big ass deep stem. And now for the tire levers to get in there. Well, all the sealants down here, so it should probably work from the top. <laughs> Fixing is gonna get messy. It's gonna get <laughs> quite messy. Get those snacks, Ryan. Oh yeah, we love the Aussie accents, John. It's definitely uh, intriguing. <laughs> you got my back, Dan. Thank you. Oh. 
<laughs> You're right, Jim. You better get the snacks ready. You gotta get breakfast ready. <laughs> I don't have a valve extender. I didn't know that uh, actually existed. Oh, it's not bad. I know, I know, Rhett. B Buffalo Creek, it's definitely, it, it will happen. It's just, uh, it's probably not going to happen this year. But uh, I've heard really good things about it. And don't stop bugging me. It's okay if you bug me about places to ride because uh, that's, that's what it's all about is keeping up. The people who keep up and keep bugging me are the ones that I actually go riding with. Ba -ba -ba -ba. My buddy Chris down in uh, San Diego emails me all the time about Noble Canyon. It's a ro running joke. But I'm going to actually go ride with him eventually because he's so persistent. <sighs> okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, I'll work from down there then. That's that's a good call there, Dan. <sighs> People from Texas are just like, oh man, that's a fancy accent you got there, John. I know that's not a good Texan accent. Wheel feels so heavy with the sealant and the, uh, the Huck Norris in. It's kind of silly. The worst trail I've ever ridden. I don't know. That's a, Anything kind of boring is kind of the worst trail ever. Anything flat. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, Kevin. I saw your super chat. I just read it to myself instead of shouting you out. But, uh, yeah, hydration and eating is key. I think you got... Yeah, I think you guys would get a kick out of what I eat and all that stuff and my whole workout routine and all that. It's definitely a thing, but, it's, you know, it's going to be more like a documenting, here's what I do, instead of not like, here's what you should do, because everybody's different. Dear God, I can't get in the freaking... <laughs> thank, thank you, Jessica. Pandora's tire. Always fun, always fun to be doing this. I could be doing this alone by myself. I've got a bunch of knuckleheads here cheering me on. Aloha from Maui. What's up, Spencer? Good to see you. Spencer's one of the first people to comment on my videos. Much love. Yeah, I like these Nike SBs as well. They're, they're sweet. A little dirty. Got them at Kohl's for... 30 bucks or something. <laughs> Stylish and cheap. That's how we roll. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, we're in the center. Just, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Thank you guys for rooting me on. I appreciate that. <laughs> the, the struggle is real. No one has lost a digit yet mechanicing a bike, but I will be the first, damn it. I will be an innovator in this space. I had JC Penny, Adam, nice. <laughs> I could be wearing my Nikes on flats. That's all the difference right there. Just that little, how many millimeters? Almost nothing, but uh, made all the difference. All right, I got a different set of uh, friggin, ah, but those are different. Okay, let's double check this here. <laughs> I gotta get everything ready for this race. It's gonna happen tonight by hook or by crook, Kevin. 
One thing I would love to get is some kind of mount so I can put my, like, you know, a through axle on the wall so I can mount my wheel to the wall when I do stuff like this because it's always, I hate it. I hate how it's like always kind of friggin' silly and floating around like that. Caleb's checking in from Arizona. Good day. All right, got to get the skis out. See you later, Mr. Clean. Seriously appreciate you stopping by and uh, leaving those nice comments. I always make everything look hard, Brocky. That's what I do. Yeah, I saw that, Spencer. The new Envy uh, technology looks legit. It depends, Jose. Uh, I'll bring, if I'm driving, I can bring all kinds of extra parts. I could bring almost everything. And, uh, but, uh, you know, if I'm flying, there's a lot more limited on extra parts that I'll, I'll be able to take. So it depends. Cool. Good call, John. I'll, I'll check out the truck mount from Yakima. That would be cool to mount something to my wall like that. I could probably find a used one, too, like some kind of uh, Craigslist thing. Oliver, out in Wellington. Nice. New Zealand. Out in NZ, as they say. Okay, I got the long son of a bitch back in <laughs> as I tear up my grips, tear up my fat paws. Welcome to Struggle Town, population BKXC. <laughs> Trail Crest got the new, <laughs> new training method. Ride until your legs cramp up. Oh, good night, Dan. Thanks for hanging out, man. Was this okay? That was for the, <laughs> the stand, the, not the stands, the slime. And now we battle once again. My grip will be impeccable after this. <laughs> These are Wolf Tooth Fat Paw grips, my favorite. They're not ESI chunky. They're probably very similar, but uh, a little different. All right, Ryan, take it easy. You don't need a gym when you got this bullshit. <laughs> when you struggle with your tire for hours. Thank you, Seth, I appreciate that. Good to see you, dude. I don't know if I've seen you in a little while, Seth. How's the sealant? Is the sealant going to pop out the bottom of my tire? Uh, mountain biking, biking, these are the same old tires. I, I usually run Maxxis Minion, WT, DHR, DHF. Oh, that's a full body. There we go. See, you learn stuff. You get better and better as the day goes on. All right. Got your Joe Blow. We're moving it into charge mode. <laughs> yeah, Jody. Back at it. My stem was too short. <laughs> Jim, I, I'm doing my best to not lose my mind. We're at 80 PSI. We're halfway there. Whew. 
Ain't nobody got money for that, Marcus. Oh, yeah, we're going all the way. 160. Okay. Whew. Need a drink after that. Here we go. Uh, valve is still in, but that's not going to be a problem. Ah. <laughs> Nate Hills, here, here I go. Stands on the ceiling time. This is the Joe, uh, Top Peak Joe Blow Booster. Eventually, once I get the Nuggetorium up and running, I'll have like a list of all my tools and stuff. I do need to reach for sleep eventually. But uh, not yet. Hey, here we go. Hell of a workout for one tire, Dan. All right, we're on. We're moving from charge mode to inflate mode. I want to make sure that uh, the camera catches this magic moment. Didn't get a real real crisp snap, so it's time to one-hander. There she is. I don't know what the carb <laughs> fire in the hole. Good one, Jim. <laughs> All right. That's this, not my tire. So. <laughs> Oh, so nice when a freaking tire seats and feels good. Looking good, feeling good. So now, oop, nope, I need to go a little more. There's more I could do by hand. <laughs> nah, I'll pull up a little more. There's still a little bit, a little bit left here to seed the bead, bead the seat, seed the bead. <laughs> Everybody loves that snap. We got one more coming. I'll go slow. <laughs> oh, Jesus, come on now. Yeah, you're right, Matt, but uh, the race doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hanging out with you guys is what matters. All right, I guess it is. We're good. So uh, it's a little method. So my buddy Dustin also showed me like a little method with the, the stands. You know, you make sure you get it down here, you give it a little shake. Do a little turn, a little shake. I keep calling it stands, but I'm using slime. <laughs> Whew. If you can only smell the fresh rubber, it is quite nice. Stans recommends to spray the rims with soapy water. Yeah, just to get them on. <laughs> the dance of the tire sealant. I like that mediocre. This <laughs> tire shake chongle. <laughs> oh, this is great. That sound is the uh, Huck Norris in there kind of spinning around a little bit. Sweet. 
So, I'm loaded up with like 60 PSI right now. I might as well just leave it, I think. There's no reason uh, to air it down, I'd say. So, that really wore me out. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Bad mechanicing takes a lot out of you. Get the dust out of this thing. <laughs> I've, I, I've never opened a can of new tennis balls. That, also, uh, when I was a kid, we'd get like comic book cards, like Marvel Universe cards, like they, like uh, Marvel Masterpieces. That smell was always like awesome. And like Wizard Magazine, the comic book magazine. Something about the, the, the printing quality, like the high gloss. Great smells from my childhood. As Kevin has pointed out uh, previously, that sound of my hub is because I have kind of a shitty uh, hub. Yeah, Ryan, I'm putting on a new front, too. <laughs> my competition, competition in the, the Enduro Pro category tomorrow is uh, loving it, that I'm wearing myself out here. Sweet. Yeah, I think leaving it on side is, is probably a good idea, too just so it doesn't pull down in the bottom. Uh, jackass mechanicing. Oh yeah, new computer com components, good stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right, instead of doing the DHF, I'm going to go run and get some, uh, get my new bar end plugs. It's Saturday night, baby. Well, that sucks. I can't find my uh, bar and plugs. Maybe they're in here. My house is a bit of a mess. It, it happens. There they are. Sweet. Ah. What did I miss? <laughs> There's nobody in here. It's all dead. 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. Nope, don't have a new rotor. Same old, same old rotor. All right, here we go. Let's let's get this on screen here. Just <laughs> possum running across the floor. That would uh, it's always a possibility. Thank you, Caleb. I, I appreciate hearing that. Ah, yeah, Luann, that, that is always a pain in the ass, getting everything. Is this made right? Is this good? Is this bad? Like, everything compatible with each other. Brian Vaughn! Already better than the GoPro lens replacement. You are right about that, my friend. Or Brad Vaughn. Sorry. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> There's no possums in here. 
8, 10 a.m. in South Africa. Good stuff. The shed will be done soon, but soon is a relative term because I'm going to be out traveling for the next month probably, so not super soon. <laughs> not soon enough, I'll tell you that much. What the heck? Why do I only have one? Not. Oh, I'm confused. I'm looking through my uh, foreign plug stuff. And I seem to only have one of these. I need two. Hey! Meiji Meshik. He always has the... There's a lot of Polish uh, viewers. I like that. That's cool. You guys are very active. I don't know if there's any mountains in Poland, but uh, you guys sure do like to uh, comment on my videos, and I appreciate that. Too, huh? That's probably a good idea. We're here. Why not friggin' take all night? Man, what the heck? That's all right. So uh, the new the new bar end plugs are not gonna happen. I get my bar end plugs from CustomCaps.com. It's K U S T. O N <laughs> caps.com. Okay, the south of Poland is all mountains. Awesome. No Polish jokes allowed. Yeah, <laughs> live stream of the race would be great. I would love to be able to do that. It's not quite there yet. I'm sure it's kind of sort of possible, but I want a decent amount of quality for uh, all my stuff. Four eleven a.m. or p.m. All right, the torture will continue. Eight thirteen in Sweden. Nice. So to get the front wheel off the pipe, you actually need either a five or a six millimeter. Mucky Nuts Fender has been pretty awesome. It has been, it has kept the muck off my nuts as it's supposed to do. Six millimeter. Got it the first time. <laughs> I sighed when I looked at the front tire. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. The maxle going. Probably need to put a little grease on the old maxle. Yeah, I could do Instagram Live while I'm waiting to start the stages. That's not a bad idea, Ryan. Thank you for uh, shouting that out. <laughs> Five minutes to get this tire on. We're going to do brakes first. And my first little thing, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a little air compressor spray down of the brakes with my pump. Reaper guards, nice. Yeah, bike man for you start streaming at noon instead of the evening. He's a smarter man than me. Uh, 
yeah, if this is MTV porn, it's not uh, getting getting you very far. <laughs> it's it's a very frustrating. It's all story, <laughs> no payoff. All right, I need the smaller. I have a brake bleed kit as well. I've never used used that, but uh, I will use it eventually. That'll be another seven hour live stream when I bleed my brakes for the first time and totally screw it up. All right, so that's eh, probably not a four. Hi, TJ, how you doing? I use wolf tooth fat paw grips and I love them. Glad you finally got to catch me live. It is always kind of a, a game of, it's not consistent when I go live. And I'd like to be more consistent when I go live so people will know. I think maybe uh, some kind of training schedule or something would be good. Me on the, <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe doing one on the trainer, doing a live stream on the trainer. I mean, that might be totally silly, but uh, I don't know. It could be interesting. <laughs> I do have a real compressor, actually. It's just, it's in the Nuggetorium right now. It's a, uh, boss ditch. Oh, there's plenty of pad on this. Or is there? Let's see. Looks pretty good to me. Focus. Thank you, Kevin, for that super chat. Like I say, the three bucks on Patreon, the two bucks on on uh, super chat, like it's all good. It all goes. It all matters. People get a little butt hurt sometimes, like when I ask, you know, when I say, like, hey, Patreon actually makes this happen. Oh, how could three bucks actually make this happen? Because it adds up when everybody does it. It's amazing. So thank you guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh I think I'm gonna leave these pads on. It's a dangerous game. Yeah, I might I might do the old interview. because I, I can I can capture my screen, I can have a trainer trainer road on there. I could kind of show you guys how weak I am and can be a journey to see how far I go. <laughs> All right, Kevin. <laughs> Dude, it's a race. <laughs> Put on new freaking pads. Ah, I love it. I love you guys, man. It's always freaking funny. Just like having buddies right here. Uh, it's so good. All right. Let's pop out the old new brake pads. And of course, they're in this, uh, this packaging where I can easily just pop it open on accident and blow it all over the place. Organic aluminum. This RockShox AVP or APVVH, uh, this RockShox Pike has been fantastic. It's been super, super fantastic. But, like I say, I always love testing out different stuff. So, if I get the opportunity to test out a Fox 34, a Fox 36, I'll be on it. And I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But right now the pike, I've, I don't, that's the toughest thing too. I've made so much progress in my riding. Uh, oh, good call, Meiji, about the focus thing. But uh, I made so much progress in my riding that it's like, is it the, have I got so good because of the equipment? Or have I got so good because I'm getting better and riding more? The old chicken and the egg, they call it. Yeah, good call, Matt, for the emergency backup for the pads. Good call. 
I am going back to Moab, Chase, very soon. It's my private trip with Chasing Epic, and uh, it's going to be cool. I'm going to have, like, 15 guys. Freaking awesome. <laughs> I will roll that uh, compressor donation to another set of pads, Kevin. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So, the easiest thing of the night, putting on new brake pads until I actually try to force the... Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the rotor into the tire. All right, it is 11.21 p.m. Ciao, Rocco. I don't know if that means uh, hello or goodbye. Dun, dun. 11.21 p.m., here we go. Seat-mounted mud guard. Eh, I don't mind getting my butt dirty. <laughs> no more way. How many hours of sleep do I need? You need as many hours of sleep as you can possibly get. I'm not going to get that tonight. Mr. Rubin, any advice coming back from an injury? I don't, because I think eating, eating and sleeping, I think that's going to be your key. It's like eating as healthy as you can. For me, I'm big into protein and eating a shitload of protein, but that might not be your best. But uh, but uh, it's it's important to not go too fast like to take it slow but but be intense about be intense and intentional about your comeback i think that's a uh, super important alexander the single track sampler friggin he made his comeback awesome and uh dun, 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 dun. uh don't worry about andrej it's okay he can uh that that comment was perfectly fine, but uh, you gotta you gotta take your time. You can't rush it. You can't rush coming back. The mental aspect is definitely the uh, the hardest part. Coming back from an injury, injury like it's it's not a matter of if, but when. Especially for me, going out and doing this all the time. Like I hate to say it, like I don't believe in jinxes or voodoo, but. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, and I'm gonna have to fight through it. And I'm gonna have to recover from it, and uh, we shall see. We will cross that road when it comes to me, and uh, we will we will all go on that journey together. That's all good, Kevin. No problem. <laughs> uh, Andrzej, it's funny. Uh, one thing I've noticed about uh, Polish commenters or even like, you know, uh, former Soviet Republic commenters, you guys are always a little more, uh, harsh in your wording and it's fine. Like I get it. Like, cause I know you guys are from a different culture, but it, it's just always funny that like it comes off, it comes off a little harsh, but it's fine. <laughs> nice green. Got your BKXC Jersey on today. Awesome. I love hearing from all you get different guys. It's always freaking fun. Always friggin' fun. All right, that looks okay. Murph in the house. The hucking will begin. Okay, let's see what the uh, Huck Norris is looking like. I'm very interested to see if there's any uh, pinch flats, rim dings, or anything in here. Man, see, you guys you guys have been mountain biking for a while. Like, John, torn ligaments, broken bones. Like, you guys have been through it all, man. Like, I've, I haven't been through the real struggle yet. It hasn't, I haven't had to fight back from an injury yet. Because I'm, it's, uh, you know, I ride within my limits. I try to ride with my limits. I don't jump. I think, really, really, you guys know jumping is kind of the where the damage happens and random stupid stuff is where the damage happens too but uh so oh there's a big one right there but that's about the only one hmm i'm thinking i'm gonna leave the front one out so this is called a huck norris chester and uh it protects your rim and allows you to lower a little bit lower air pressure because when you're when you get almost a pinch flat, this kind of protects it. 
So it's like this weird kind of gimmicky thing, but it's in my rear tire, there's all kinds of cuts and all kinds of things where I had rim hits that would have banged the rim really hard, but this kind of protected it instead. Oh, Mr. Blue Hands. Okay, here we go. We're still going. This is going to be, oh, this one's going to be so much easier. You know that. It's going to be so much easier. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell me why. Okay, Matt, you convinced me to keep it. <laughs> nah, it's too heavy. <laughs> the one time I, I worry about weight, I never worry about weight. I'll get Kushcore if someone else puts it on for me. I've heard it. I, uh, somebody was doing a Kushcore live stream and it sounded like it took forever. Uh, uh, yeah, stemcaps.com. You can get a stem cap, a BKXC stem cap. And then the shirts, just, just stay tuned on my Instagram and Facebook and even uh, on, uh, whatchamacallit, just on YouTube. I'll have shirts soon. Yeah, riding with Kyle Mears would be so cool. That'd be awesome. But uh, the I'm doing the Chasing Epic trip, so it's pretty much a guided trip where uh, the route will be determined for us. We just show up and everything else, everyone else does the work. What's up, Gareth from South Africa? Good day, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have done those stupid good day, Mike. I'm trying to do my South African accent, and uh, it's it's got... A little bit different sound to it. Uh, that wasn't quite it, but I'll try. Make sure we're hoping to visit South Africa. Oh, ligaments torn in your left ankle and shoulder. Ah. Oh, it's Phil doing the Kushcore install live. And <laughs> I've just heard it's so funny. I've heard so many people talk about how painful it looked. So I'm super afraid of doing the Kushcore. <laughs> All right, we'll do a little wipe down here. We are seven minutes into this this uh, tire swap. Murph, I want to hit Durango. I really do want to hit Durango. I just don't. I don't think it's gonna happen this time around, this summer. But uh, it's on my uh, it's on my list. It is definitely on my list, my man. Got that uh, South African accent spot on? You think? Brew? Brew? You gonna say brew instead of bro? Brew? Uh, there we go. What's up, Bradley? Good to see you in the chat here. I actually uh, sprained a ligament in my knee a couple years ago, messing around on a scooter, and uh, it took a little while to heal. It was, all, you know, eight weeks and you're you're kind of walking weird and you're like oh god is this ever gonna friggin that's the biggest thing right when you're injured is this ever gonna be the same am i ever gonna be the same and it's just oh it's so brutal the mental battle all right i got my rag here i got my dhf snowing in durango tonight whoops Max will hit the ground. Don't worry about that. Max, I use uh, Brian's generic ass cleaner. It is Dawn dish soap and water, and it is amazing. Nice. Hey, John, seriously, like, uh, keep me in the loop if you're back in Texas, because January is wide open for me at the moment, so, and I think Texas in January might be delightful, so there's quite a lot of Texas guys out there that, uh, that are that are around and that that goes to everybody anybody that wants to ride with me the invitation is always open we just have to make it happen you have to really figure out uh the time the timing is everything and, and my schedule's crazy and if we can make it happen yeah kmc you got such a good story with that friggin doctors telling you you're never gonna walk again and all that other bullshit but i i feel like Everyone in this world is unstoppable unless they choose to stop. <laughs> Chase every time I drop my maxim. Yeah, 
yeah, Matt, that's true. The uh, Oklahoma is going to be on the way as well. So email me, Matt. I, I would appreciate if you email me because then we can kind of uh, get you on the radar. It's very important to actually be interacting and, and, and start a little conversation. So these are the Maxis Minion DHF 2.5 WTs with the XO, or no, max grip, double down, double down casing. And I'm just looking, rotation is this way, because when you're this way, that's the thing. I have to cheat. I'm not, I'm not there yet to actually be able to know the rotation off the top of my head. How pathetic is that? I can't. I need the arrow. Oh no, it's this way. Yeah, that makes sense because all the this stuff is on the drive side. Oh, the stream's lagging a little bit. Uh oh, I don't like that. Let's check. Sorry about that, guys. Double check everything is on. Oh, my dirty hands on my laptop. That's no good. It's no good. All right, looks like it's a little better. Oh yeah. I'm having some internet problems. I am having some internet problems. Sorry. I'm back. I'm back. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. So that ah, stupid internet. Always about the internet. Yeah, man, I'm I'm always down. It's just we gotta get the uh, have to get the conversation started so we can actually start putting stuff together. And then it's like, you know, sometimes it's it's just tough to get on the same page. And I feel really bad too because I'll I'll go somewhere and then somebody's like, you were in blank and you didn't email me, and it's like, fuck, I'm sorry, man. We're not best friends. Like <laughs> you you've emailed me once and you expect me to like remember. Oh, it's so tough. So, like, you re really have to be, like, a nuisance. And that's how it works. And I don't mind it. As long as you're cool. Oh, Jeff, dude. The phone is working great. Thank you, man. How's, uh, how's the mothership treating you? The phone has been great. I seriously appreciate you uh, helping me out. Getting that thing going. Oh, this is so tight. This is going to be a bitch. <laughs> uh, you can go make breakfast. It's it's definitely uh it's definitely allowed. You got to get your phone out, man. Go bring it with you. I'm glad you like that, Bradley. Oh, cool. You got fully moved into the old Silicon Valley. Hopefully you live close to where you're working because uh, that traffic is a son of a bitch down there. So hopefully, uh, I know it's expensive as hell to live in Silicon Valley, but uh, hopefully they're paying you good enough where you can live close. Yeah, man, reach out, dude. Uh, I'll be home. I'll be home in November. <laughs> so always open to go for a ride. Right. If I soak this whole thing down, this is where the struggle begins. I just start fighting it back and forth, and then I'll get my hands all soapy, and then it's going to freaking... <laughs> Here we go. The guns are back, brother. Full flex. <laughs> Marte in the house. Marte from the Philippines. Good to see you, dude. Glad to see you can make it. I'll be struggling with this tire for at least another six hours. So uh, strap in, Marte. <laughs> the Max. 
Axis logo can kiss my ass. It's going to be where it's going to be. <sighs> oh, come on. This is how you professionally put on a tire. There's no doubt about it. I defy you to put on a tire quicker than this. Thanks, Junior. <sighs> oh, it's Marty. Okay, cool. No, that's good to know. Thank you for uh, clarifying, dude. Thanks, Ryan. I would love to see you down there. I'm sure you got other stuff going on, but uh... it is 11:37 in the east right now. Tire tools would help. Tire tools would help. Just trying to uh, get it on on natural because I'm not. I'm a little afraid. Now I've got uh. I've got no leaks on this, so I'm leaving the, the red rim strip, the default red rim strip. <laughs> yes, Andrej, I am ready to open a bike shop. It's uh, just that easy. I'm just always, uh, always hesitant to use the tire lever because of the friggin' tape, and I always damage the tape, and then that's how the leaks start, all that stuff. But uh, we're going to do this in record time. Yeah, you guys are fun. This comment section is where it's at. The late night crew, the early morning crew. The use all your weight to put a tire on crew. Oh yeah, that soapy water was just the trick. <laughs> ah, thanks Trail Reaper. Let's hear the snap. There we go. All right. It's so tight, I can't even get the Max's logo to the valve. <laughs> uh. Yeah, man, it's hard work, TJ. That's it's. Uh, I'm not so sweaty because. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right, Max's logo staying where it is. Brian, the shitty mechanic, does not care. Uh, bike maintenance takes a long time. Always. <laughs> I'm going to leave the Huck Norris out. I am going to leave the Huck Norris out, Matt. I, uh, you, you, I, just, I just feel like I want a little bit... I actually want to keep that one, so I, once I blow up the one in the back, I'm going uh... <laughs> to... Newt, every time you tune into the live stream, I'm struggling with tires. It's a, we've got a theme going on here. <laughs> These things are stiff. They've been around for a while. <laughs> good night, Dan. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That's a that's a pretty good milestone, Dan. Driving your youngest son to college. Empty nest. <laughs> Gadget tire lever. Dish soap. Here we go with the dish soap. Fully lubricated with the dish soap. It'll just go on like magic now. How old was I when I first rode a bike? Man, who knows? Maybe five or six, I bet. Yeah, one more night until the empty nest, Dan. <laughs> you don't know anything could happen between now and then.
Look how tight it is. It's so tight, there's like no air in there. <laughs> Crazy. Look at those veins, brother, with the white hot lights shining. Good morning in Sweden, Christopher. Good to see ya. All right, so. Yeah, the uh, putting the sealant on with the thing in there was kind of janky. So you live and learn. <laughs> the, the race is only only specialized rock hoppers allowed. Now it's just actually I think that uh, the race was around before the specialized rock hopper was invented. I think the specialized rock hopper took the name from the race, and it was a it was an XC race back in the day. Not always a. Uh, uh, it was in, the XC race was actually earlier today, and then tomorrow is the the enduro. Stay off the juice. Yeah, it's funny when people think I'm on steroids. I'm I'm five foot ten and I weigh 154 pounds. I am. The, if I was on steroids, I would be the absolute worst example of steroid user. It's all about body fat, and I guess I just have. I, I've always naturally had a lot of vein veinage. 9 a.m. in Germany. All right, how are we looking? Okay. Okay, so. Shoot. I'm going to kink the hose so I can actually make sure that I get... Uh... Oh, got to pop the cap first. Whoops. Straight up vascular, brother. We'll do two ounces in here of my six ounce bottle that is now done. <laughs> what a joke. I guess I need to buy a big ass tub of this stuff. Actually, I bet it'll just uh, drop in. Probably don't even have to use the plunger. Okay, I'll use the plunger. Oh, that was something that Dustin, my buddy, talked about, was that uh, he will sometimes squeeze this right here to make sure that air comes out, and that like when you are when you plunge in, just to make sure that like, <laughs> when you pull this off, it doesn't spray out. But I think we're good. I'm fine. Yeah, EPO is definitely a, a different story for sure. All right, so. Nice, Christopher. This is a, this is a, <laughs> a step-by-step -step instructional guide to putting on tubeless tires. The shittiest way you can. I gotta rem I'm gonna run some water through this uh, later to kind of make sure it doesn't clog clog up and clump up. But for now, it will just go down here for. Cool. Oh, <laughs> my two my pumps over here. <laughs> Should I use the charger? <laughs> I'm just gonna muscle it. <laughs> get snapped in the face. Oh, I have it on charge right now. Let's go inflate. Bam, bam. I le I left the uh, the old stem on. I didn't I didn't change the stems, so uh, it's good. 
The shack is coming along, Murph. It's coming along. Hopefully, I'm going to be gone traveling for October pretty much. And so uh, November, hopefully, I'll be in the shack and live streaming from there and showing you guys the tools and all that great stuff. It's going to be awesome. Good. Oh, the new, new, new meat, as the pros call it. I want to get up to 50. Oh, it's at 50 psi. Okay, good enough. <laughs> oh, I forgot the. <laughs> Nate Hills was damn right. He was damn right. I totally forgot that I uh, that I had it uh, <laughs> the core out, so I should have used the button on this thing to to uh, to. <laughs> oh, that was an all time classic moment. Scared the crap out of me. All right, so we'll put the valve core back in. <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys in the chat to actually see that happen. Chat delay. This, uh, this little thing is like a, it's got the valve core tool on the bottom. <laughs> Focus. And then it's got the, that thing where you can push the little bacon strips in. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing shitty camera work here, I'm trying to figure out how to get it to focus. But yeah. <laughs> I do owe Nate five dollars. Actually there's no there's no sealant up in the ceiling, so <laughs> God that sound of fifty PSI <laughs> terrifying. I'm going to have nightmares about it. <laughs> See my beautiful hands with my glove tan. <laughs> semantics I still own five bucks <laughs> all right I'll pay him that five bucks uh, if I actually ever meet Nate Hills I'll pay him the five bucks I'm gonna go up to 40 psi and just leave it overnight I'm gonna do a little stand shake here like I did before That was only about 28 minutes for that tire. Da, da, da. All right, so all the stand or keep calling it stance. It's a uh... that's awesome, Marty. Good luck, dude. Good luck on your marathon. I'm not much for running, but uh, 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 you better be joking, Camille. <laughs> Nice slick rock sender, went for a local ride. Still live wind. Yep, minions up front, minions in the back. Link in the description. Same uh, tires I've been running. I'm uh, happy with these tires, so I'm keeping them. Nate gets a couple new bikes every year. I think he's got a SB45 and an SB6, or maybe even an SB55. He's a he's got a stable. It's good to be a Yeti ambassador. Good call, Matt, on uh, flipping the wheel. I just saw your uh, comment about that.
Sweet. The meat, the meat is looking good. Good morning, Devin. Good to see you, dude. I recognize your uh, name from the comments. The show? <sighs> Modeling my shoes and calves here. 2.8s. I can't, I can't fit 2.6s on my bike. Okay, so can't do the bar and plugs until I find another screw, but I think everything else is looking pretty good. All night long, all night. Get out there. Guy yet to fucked. <laughs> Get out there and ride Scotland, you lucky son of a gun. Good night, Rhett. <laughs> she told you you gotta turn the bike shit off. <laughs> yeah, get used to it. Won't be last time. So next up for the maintenance is nothing. I think I'm pretty good. I'll probably uh, clean. I need to clean a little bit more on the chain, and there's still a lot of dust going on here. Probably oil up the front maxle and not much, not much else. Life is a highway. I'm going to ride it all night long. <clears throat> so my SRAM brakes have been awesome. I'm jazzed on their guide ultimates. They've been pretty solid. I have rock climbed before. I enjoy it for sure. I've heard it's very... Uh, finicky sport like if you if you take time off of rock climbing you lose your strength almost immediately all right it's getting to be midnight let's get get this drivetrain cleaned up and get six hours of sleep <laughs> Oh, don't squeeze those brakes. Yeah, that is the same as biking, really, huh? You lose that, lose that fitness. It, 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 it goes. It goes away. Man, three to four days off the bike. I've spent, <laughs> I've spent plenty of days off the bike recently, just friggin' editing, and if it goes that quick, uh, I'm in bad shape. Haha, <laughs> Luke, brutal. <laughs> that sucks, man. But uh, at least you'll be back on the bike. Grayson, my suggestion for a new mountain bike, Santa Cruz Bronson, Ibis Mojo HD4, or a Yeti SB6. <laughs> those are those are my go-tos. Santa Cruz Hightower, not bad either. Not bad either. I like that, Chase. You can only rent fitness. It's so true. Yeah, TJ, you need a stem cap base if you're going to get a, a stem cap from stemcaps.com. Yeah, that's the amazing thing about physical fitness, about anyone that, uh, that has a decent physique, man. You're just renting it. You're constantly, your body is just constantly like, hey, we don't need this. We, we don't need this. If, you, if you're not going to use it, we're going to take it back. So... That's why I, I just always admire old dudes that uh, are really physically fit. That's where I want to be 20, 30 years. I want to be that old dude kicking ass. And all you can do is do it one step at a time, right? It's all one day at a time. Having a routine. All right. 
So, uh, drivetrain's looking decent. Yeah, it's always a balance between uh, taking time off and taking too much time off and not enough time off. Your body needs time to repair. What you eat and what you what you sleep is so important too. It's all a huge, interesting thing. A science that we friggin' don't have figured out. We kind of have it figured out, but not really. There's so much mumbo jumbo, so many different ways. It is 11.57 here, p.m. It's almost a.m. My favorite strength training exercises. Um, a bunch of stuff. Just a, just a bunch of stuff. It's, uh, and really, it's funny because I really don't do strength training. I do bodybuilding. I, it's really more, uh, you know, if I was into more strength training stuff, I'd do CrossFit because I, I think that's really cool. I think there's a lot of good stuff about CrossFit, the community, and that it's all about positivity and getting together. It's just really expensive. <laughs> My gym membership's 20 bucks a month. And it, it gets me pretty good uh, access. The local CrossFit's like 90 bucks a month or something. It's ridiculous. But it seems like uh, people enjoy it. Uh, you want a closer look? Let's see if I can get this uh, camera a little closer here. <laughs> it's funny to see it so shaky. So, uh, yeah. That's the derailleur. <laughs> Don't know if there's anything really there that's that special. A break. Nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing special. The deep inner workings and dirt of that lower link. It's an MRP bash guard, Christopher. And it's and it's uh it's worked. There's a big gash on the bottom, so there's been at least one horrific hit that uh that has done me good that I've saved my bike from. I should be getting an absolute black uh, front chainring, oval chainring here pretty soon. Uh, you guys remember Bruno from Switzerland, who I was riding with. He is uh, kind of a higher up in absolute black. So he's been, he was kind of bugging me before, like, hey man, let me send you a chain ring. And we didn't make it happen. So now he finally got back to me. He's going to send me an uh, absolute black oval chain ring. Bruno was such a cool guy. I really hope I get to ride with that dude again. He was like, we just, ah, we rode so well together because he was, me and him were almost the same ability, right? The fitness and the ability were just like almost identical. So I wasn't pulling away from him. He wasn't pulling away from me. He was goofy, I was goofy, it was just a, it was a match made in heaven. It was quite awesome. I use Shimano XT pedals, and these things have been through hell and back. They're actually starting to wiggle a little bit. <laughs> it might be time after six years. It might be time. Yeah, I probably, uh, I think Bruno's going to send me a bash guard as well because the uh, Absolute Black makes bash guards too. Alright, that looks good to me. Oh, nice, you're getting one too, John. That's sweet. Tamarancho Patreon ride. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that very much. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to be gone, but send me a message on Patreon and uh, let's make it happen. Let's, let's do that. The Patreon rides that Seth and uh, 
that Seth and Alexander have been doing have gone off really, really well, and I need to I need to make a point to do my Patreon rides, to get people together, to do group rides. I've just been a little gun shy with the group ride stuff because uh, different abilities, different liability, all that crap. So uh, let's make it happen. Shoot me a message on Patreon so we can uh, put it together. Dun, dun, dun. Good, good call, Matt. I will flip the other wheel here in a second. Well, after I struggle with this for half an hour. Yeah, the, there is like a built-in chain stay protector. Ah, crap. Here, it's kind of already there. I could wrap around other stuff, but really the... Nothing really gets beat up. It's down in here is really where it takes the most beating on, on there. I'm going to be in Spain, Mike. I would I would like to race the Bidwell bump, but I'm going to be gone. I do know it's midnight, man. I know very well that it is midnight. You can hear the Huck Norris floating around in there. Thank you, Wen. I appreciate it so much, dude. I, uh, it, it makes this possible. The Patreon, the Super Chats, it all makes it possible. It, it would not happen. YouTube ad money is, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> it's good, but it's not great. So, uh, I would have to make really gimmicky bullshit videos and be fake and uh, try to get millions of views <laughs> if I depended on uh, YouTube money. So I'm glad I don't have to do that. I don't have to talk about uh, fidget spinners and slime and how they relate to uh, mountain biking. A little bit of a rotor rub. not worried about it it's i'll play with it tomorrow if i need to but not worried about it right now right now we're gonna get the king of lubes on here and we're gonna go to bed the rock shocks pipe has been awesome bradley i'm freaking digging it ah i got more than just the pipe ah i got more to do than just lubing up the, the chain oh yeah nice mess here stare at the back of my head while i do this I'm glad the stream only lagged out once. All right. Oh, I don't like touching the, the rotor to the ground, so I'm just gonna put the, uh, the axle back on. Got those new brake pads up front, so it's gonna be a, a little tough to wedge them in. Oh, I got it. Yeah. It's a fight. Putting the maxle in the wrong side, I guess. Go. Oh, a bucket. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, Matt. I like that. Haha, <laughs> bald spot. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. Oh yeah, love the feel of nice brakes with nice new brake pads, just 
fully, fully engaged. I always pump them up a little bit. I did forget to grease the axle. You are right about that. I don't want to break up the grease right now. That's just going to be a friggin' mess. Cool. Alright, so... Get the lube on there. That's good to go. The other thing I wanted to make a uh, these shoes have been a little funky with my uh, clipping in. Just been a little off. So I'm gonna move the cleats up a little bit. Nice, Dale. Congrats. <laughs> I just realized what you meant, Adam, about the balling. The balding. Good night, Christopher. All right, let's move those about midway. I am good, Soren. How are you? See you tomorrow, David. Come say hi. I will have some stickers. That's the way to get stickers. I will. I need to remember to to uh, to have a shitload on me tomorrow because I think I'll run into a few people that have seen the channel. <laughs> oh, nice! You're doing the Mont Blanc the same uh, the same uh, time as me. That's awesome. It's always good to change your cleats the night before a race and not test them out. Uh, good night, Michael. Thanks. Oh man, I bought some Loctite from Amazon and uh, it was fake. It was a bootleg product. I need to go grab it for you guys so I can show you. Super funny. Because Loctite something you guys have recommended while, uh, while I've been out and about working on my bike. And also the Santa Cruz Bronson specs. Yeah, I'll, I'll park at Solano College, David. Uh, Alright. Good. Looking good. Stay hydrated. So I, I pulled this out of uh, the package from Amazon, and I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, Lock TTLF? Like what? Lock TTLF? What is, is that just a different brand? And then I'm looking at like the different stuff, I'm looking at the back, and uh, it says like by Henhole, and real Loctite's by Henkel. It's just like goofy. It's like this, they, they sold me bootleg... Uh, Loctite on Amazon, so I left a bad review for uh, the seller. They probably got, like, they probably didn't realize it was fake either, because it just, this looks exactly like regular Loctite, but uh, it's probably fine. It probably works just as well, but I wanted real Loctite, damn it. So I've got one of these backcountry research straps, and I'm going packless tomorrow. So if I'm going without my pack, I need to kind of get ready and uh, have all my crap together so I can actually uh, do well. 
I don't know how this works, so uh, it's probably too bad to even attempt to do this right now on a live stream. So I will look it up. Something like that. I'll have to look it up. Get an extra tube and all that stuff. So, okay, cool. I'll leave that here. Ah, oh, getting so scattered. All right, good enough. Time to hit the time to hit the hay. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out. It was uh, super fun. It's always super fun. <laughs> it's always it's always a wild ride. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the trail. Oh wow, two hours exactly. That's insane. I did not plan that at all. Peace.